everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine, and in today's Inkscape video, we are going to use trace bitmap in order to convert it to an SVG. So let's go ahead and get started. I have this blue elephant icon that I uploaded just from, you know, searching the web. So this is a JPEG, so it is not compatible. It's not an SVG, so you cannot, you know, really edit it. So I want to be able to edit it or change it how I want to. So, and I want to save it as an SVG. But in order to do that, you need to make some changes on Inkscape first. So first I'm going to go ahead and go up to path up here on the toolbar. Then I'm going to go to trace bitmap. Now this little screen will pop up. And as you can see, it does come up with the elephant in black and white. And there's quite a few different things you could play around with on here. To be honest, I really don't play around with a ton of it. All I really use is the brightness cutoff, which is a default right here. It automatically goes to brightness cutoff. You can play around with these options, but I, I never do that. So I've always just used brightness cutoff because that works for me and I've never had to do anything else. So I'm going to keep it as, as brightness cutoff. And then the brightness threshold is really the only other thing that I mess around with when I need to uh, change an image. So it automatically puts it at 0 0.45, I believe. That's at least what it comes up on my screen all the time as. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at that because that's usually what works for me. Now, you can always adjust the setting, which I do a lot sometimes as well. If I have a certain image that's more detailed, like a person's portrait or something like that, that's when you would probably increase or decrease the brightness and you can play around with it where you can try it a few different times and see what works best for you. 0.45 is kind of just in the middle. So I'm gonna keep it as this and I'm gonna just keep everything else the same right here. I'm not going to invert image. You don't need to select that unless you want it to invert, which I'll show you in a minute how to do that as well. But we're for now, we're just gonna keep it at 0.45 and go ahead and click Okay, so now as you can see, my elephant, it changed it. So it went ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this piece off. So the black piece is what we changed it to. So now it's compatible for an SVG file. Um, you can change or modify this image right now. The blue image is just the original image that we don't need anymore. So I can put that off to the side. I don't need to work with it anymore. Now this black and white elephant is the image that I'm gonna be working with and that I'm gonna be changing or however I want to edit it. So you can go ahead and go to the left-hand side over here and select the node selection tool. So now you can see all these little nodes. Uh, you can manipulate it however you want. You can select the nodes how you want and, and edit them. But that's just a whole nother section. Um, this just means that you can save it now as an SVG and you can upload it to your Glowforge and you can print it by cutting, uh, cutting around it or engraving this as the elephant itself. Now to go back to the inverted image, if you need to do that. So you would have to select the image again, with the original image. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to the side, the one we already edited. But now I'm going to take our original image and go back. And I'm going to have to go back up to path and trace bitmap again. And now it will uh, re-upload. So you have to do it over again. Now you can do the exact same thing, except this time we're going to invert an image and select that box and click OK and we'll see what happens. So now again, you have to drag off the piece that you edited or the piece that the original piece. So in this case, it just took the original piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the original piece to the side. I'm gonna delete this. So now this is an inverted Im image. So it's black and white still, but the elephant um, is inverted. So it just has a background instead. So you can play around with it. If you need it a certain way, you can either invert it or not invert it, but there are different ways you can do that. But the point is you can now save it as an SVG and it will be compatible for your machine as well. 
So if you have any questions on that, please let me know. And as always, if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code. That's listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which me and my family always appreciate. And if you're interested in joining our new Facebook group, it's called Students of the Forge. That's listed in the description box below as well. And we share helpful tips, ideas, and projects. So please feel free to look into that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.